You can also like bring this to the pool or you can throw a bunch of crap in it to run errands. I'm excited to wear this. I'm excited to pack it. I'm probably gonna put it in my suitcase right now. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul. If you guys are new here, I'm super happy to have you. Today we're doing a whole Abercrombie and Fitch order and the 13 year old inside of me is just screaming out with joy because I remember that I wasn't allowed to shop there for the longest time because their shorts were like underwear length and my mom was like absolutely not and then I think when I was like 13 or 14 I was allowed to buy like a shirt from there or something with a little mousse on it but they have completely rebranded they no longer have mousses on anything they do still have some like classic polos and stuff that have the mousse on it but they have just totally transitioned into normal people clothing and they are absolutely killing it I can't even explain to you how excited I am to show you guys this stuff um, also, just another side note, I placed this order maybe like 10 days ago and I called up today because they're having a sale and they do price adjustments. If you place the order within two weeks of them having the sale, they'll do a price adjustment. All I did was give them my order number and they just took the discount off all of the eligible items. So really accommodating. I was so surprised. I didn't have to argue with anybody. They were just really, really great customer service. So that's another plus. But I just want to get straight into these because I showed some of them on my Instagram and I got so many questions on all of them. I don't even know what to start with, but I think we're going to go with the bathing suit. So I do have one bathing suit from Abercrombie & Fitch so far and I absolutely love it. The one thing that I have to say about their bathing suits is that sometimes they don't have the stock all the time, which can be a little bit annoying. So I actually did buy this bathing suit in New York City the first time I saw it and I ended up going with these bottoms that were like a different high-waisted style and they weren't really my size there was like a lot of like bunching with the fabric and everything but I just figured I would get it and then I ended up returning it because it just I didn't love it so I brought it back and I checked on the website two weeks ago when I placed this order and they had the same style top in my size and the style bottoms that I wanted originally in my size so we're just I'm just gonna show it to you because I'm so excited so it is this cute, it's like the pattern that I fell in love with first. So it has like these oranges on it. And I love that the colors are like kind of undertoned. They're like a muted orange and a muted green. They're not too like in your face. And then they have these adorable ruffle straps here. So they have different style tops and then the different styles come in different colorways. So even if they don't have this one available in your size, they do have different patterns, which is really nice. And then these are the matching bottoms. So. I know that this V shape is very flattering and people love it. I am going to show you guys the other bathing suit that I have from them and the bottoms are very flattering and I knew that this style would be best for me, but they don't have that V cut and I just, I just love it. So they are like a little V in the front and then they also have the V in the back, but there is plenty of coverage with this. I know it looks like it's not a lot of material, but it looks really nice. I'm just so excited to wear this with like a linen shirt like I'm wearing right now and a straw hat and some sandals and I'm going on vacation with my family in August so I'm excited to wear this I'm excited to pack it I'm probably gonna put it in my suitcase right now let me show you guys the other bathing suit that I have from them so this one is from last year and that's when I kind of had an obsession with triangle bathing suits because I made the decision that I'm now in my mid-20s oh my god and I wanted to spend a little bit more on my swimwear because all the other bathing suits that I had from other brands that I won't name just started falling apart and they were pilling and the threads were just it just wasn't great quality and I'm like I might as well just pay for a bathing suit that's actually gonna last so I did get this one last year and I love the colors in it again that's what drew me to them and I also love these like bra style tops because they do have an underwire in them so they're very supportive and then they also have adjustable straps on the back too and then this one has a nice little tie in the back and then the bottoms which I mentioned before these are a little bit different than the other ones that I showed you. Still a really flattering shape, but they don't have that like stark V cut in the front. But overall, I cannot recommend Abercrombie & Fitch's Swim enough. The quality is amazing, especially for like being a little bit older now. Like I don't just want to be buying crap. So <laughs> this is a good place to go if you have been shopping at Victoria's Secret for swimwear for the longest time like I did and now their swimwear absolutely is terrible in my own opinion. So I just needed other places to look for swimwear and this was one of them so highly recommend. And then the next 
thing that I ordered, I kind of like did a little bit of like a theme of two piece sets in this outfit, in this outfit, in this haul. So this is one of the tops that I got and it's a really pretty floral pattern. It's ruched and shirred or whatever it is and a really cute neckline. So it's kind of like a sweetheart neckline. These straps are detachable. So you can wear this as a strappy top. You can wear it as a strapless top. Um, and then I also got the matching skirt for it. You guys, I cannot explain to you the quality of this stuff. It's literally like heavy in my hands. And when you have it on, it just, the, the draping on the body is just really nice. So this is the matching midi skirt. It kind of has like ruffles all the way down. And when I first saw this, I thought it was a dress because the model was wearing the top with the matching skirt. And it just looked so nice. And I love this for like a wedding guest outfit. If you're going to like a more casual wedding in the summer, I think this is really pretty. Or if you're going to a really dressy wedding and you need like a rehearsal dinner outfit, I think this is really nice. Also, if you want to wear the skirt separate with like a regular black tank or a white tank, I think that's really cute. And then obviously you can just wear the top with like light wash jeans. I've already styled this up with like light wash jeans to possibly wear to go out. So I love these two as a set, but then it's just an added bonus that you can wear them all together as well. Okay, so we'll break up the sets with a single item. So I picked up these cropped linen trousers and they have an elasticated waist. I wore these to work with this shirt actually just tucked in and it looked so nice and so put together but I was wearing like lightweight linen fabrics so I don't know if anybody else has this problem but it's 85 degrees outside and in my office it's freezing so I never want to wear long sleeves and I never want to wear anything that's like gonna make me sweat because I don't want to walk into work sweating but this was a really nice lightweight option especially for the summertime if you're someone that walks to work like this would be a really great option too because Having a lightweight fabric that's like actually covering your skin but not insulating your skin is really nice. And these look so classy. They're a little bit wrinkled right now because I had them folded on the floor. But um, I love the way that these look. They're almost like dressy, but they don't feel dressy, which is honestly, that is the ultimate dream when it comes to workwear is just looking really put together, but also being comfortable at the same time. And then another item that I picked up is a beach bag. So. You guys saw in my Zara haul that, or if you didn't see it, I will link it up here, but I just did a Zara haul and I did have a beach bag in there and it's absolutely adorable. It's also on sale for $25 right now, but I wanted to get a bag that I can actually put like bigger things in and like a towel if I wanted to. So I saw this one on Abercrombie and Fitch. They didn't have any like photos with it on a model or something and they do have the measurements there, but I did want to just get it so I could see it for size reference. And it is pretty big, like you can easily fit like more than one towel in here. It's just the paper inside. Um, and it's just a wicker material. I'm trying to decide if I like the color of these straps. So they're a little bit orangey for me, but I do like it against like a white shirt or something like that. And I just think it's a really cute like tote bag for the summer. You can also like bring this to the pool or you can throw a bunch of crap in it to run errands. I don't know but it's a really great size. The only thing I have to say is like, it also smells a little bit weird, but that's because it's made of wicker. So it kind of just smells like, I don't know, whatever wicker smells like, I can't really describe it. Um, but yeah, it's really good quality. I love the size of it. And I think it's just a really good summer classic to have in your wardrobe. And then the last set that I want to show you guys is this. Okay. I saw the description of the color of this and that's why I got it, which is kind of weird that I, now that I'm saying it out loud and it doesn't really make that much sense. But I picked up this sweat short sweatshirt set and I'm in love with it. This is from the Soft A and F collection. Short story for the longest time, I thought the collection was called Soft AF, which like makes sense, but is also like a little bit provocative. So I was like, that's interesting. Um, but it's from the Soft A and F collection and they're not kidding. Like these things are just buttery on the inside. I absolutely love them. So the crew neck says Paris on it and I got this one in a medium and the bottoms I got in a small or extra small and an extra small. So I like to have a little bit more of an oversized like comfy fit on top and then I like to have the shorts true to size. So I got the crew neck in a medium and then in the shorts I got an extra small they just look so nice and cozy together. And this is also nicer for the summertime because you can wear, like I wore these shorts on a walk with just a tank top. And then obviously you can just wear this 
crew neck with like ripped jeans and I just love the shade of this color. It's kind of like a beigey gray. It's like a very warm tone gray. And normally I don't like to wear gray too much because I feel like it washes me out. But because this is like that warm tone, it looks really nice. Um, obviously you have that added benefit of just it being a set that you can also wear them separately. So we're getting even more use out of it. And yeah, car support wear is gonna be super low on this one because I've already worn it so many times and I just love the pattern of it. I will just point out for those of you who are still scarred from the Moose and the Abercrombie & Fitch logo thing that used to occur is that it does say Abercrombie & Fitch here right under the Paris logo, which is kind of like in this felt um, material. And then these are just regular iron on letters. So I just wanted to mention this if the logo is going to bother you. But for me, like the Paris part is like the main theme here. And I don't really like I don't think anyone's really going to read this part like because it's so big. So it didn't bother me, so I don't think it should bother anybody else because I don't think anyone else was as scarred as I was with Abercrombie's like logo mania that happened in 2006. Okay, so that is it for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all this stuff and like learning that Abercrombie and Fitch is not the same that it used to be because I was completely and pleasantly surprised by it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you have any questions at all, make sure that you leave a comment down below and you can also DM me on my Instagram. It's at Jenna Evangelia. But thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. I appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next one.